Okay. So the tulip card um, that used the tulip designer series paper um, uses the uh, soon to be retired um, timeless timeless tulips. Um, in class, we did it as an Easter card, um, just because I know um, I won't get any more Easter cards sent. I am going to choose to make this a Mother's Day card. So let's see what's in here. Okay, so you have your card base in So Saffron. Let's get that a crease right there. And um, since we're not putting ribbon or anything else around that, we can go right ahead and add the designer series paper to the petal pink. and then add this whole layer right to the card front. There we go. All right. There. Okay. Now we're going to do the stamping. So what I did was I used Poppy Parade ink and we used this pretty uh, punch. I think it's lovely you or uh, something. Anyway, I'm gonna do three tulips. I want two of them to be pretty light. So I'm gonna stamp off once here. I'm gonna stamp again so I have a lighter tulip in the back. I'm gonna grab this piece of scrap paper so I don't muck up my Placemat. I'm going to get this inky and then put another one over here. So we have some different colored tulips. We're going to grab the old olive ink and I'm not sure if that's stained or what. Okay. Um, and add some stems to our tulips. Whoop. There. All right. Those are pretty. Then you'll notice that you have another one of these shapes. What you're going to want to do is cut this in half from straight edge to straight edge. So you're just going to go this way, like that. Okay. Then we're going to take and put a little adhesive back here. And then we're just going to line up those straight edges. And you can have kind of as much or as little of that under layer showing as you want. Now, when you do the next one, obviously, you're going to come up here. And again, you're going to have that like that and try and make those match if you can. So then you'll have that space in the back. And you're going to use some dimensionals to add this to your card front. Okay. Now, we're going 
mind. Uh, now I could do it in the green, I could do it in the poppy. I'm gonna choose to do the greeting in black. Sometimes I just really want that greeting to sort of pop right off of that card. So I'm gonna just ink up the Happy Mother's Day in the memento black. And get it right. Ooh, not bad for hitting center, top to bottom. I did pretty good. Um, and for this one, I think what I might want to do is just angle both ends like that. Now, in the class card, You'll notice that I just banner cut one end. Just depending on what greeting you choose, you may want to do banner cut both ends. You may want to angle cut. It's your card. Do what you will. And on the other one, I had that flat. I think I'll go ahead and put this flat as well. So, sometimes if I have a raised something else, then I keep the greeting flat, but not always. Sometimes I go ahead and put this up on dimensionals as well, but for this one, I'm just going to put it flat like that. So that's a fun little trick. By cutting the same punch, you can get what looks to be a layer, and those straight edges make it easy to line up so you don't have stuff sticking out. All right? Thanks.